Hey guys, um, as promised, I'm going to uh, give you guys the a uh, little more in-depth look at the scoring. Uh, I don't know why I didn't do that in the other video. I usually do. I try to show the simpler things for the people that really aren't into it and try to also get a little more advanced for the people that do know what's going on. Um, the uh, CPUs or Super Alex boxes as they call called are right up in that little cut out there. Right in there. You can see some of the vents, some of the plugs. Um, that's how they mount now. Um, over on the other side here, uh, you can see the, uh, the network cable and uh, the fans there. Uh, that's how they mount now. Uh, they used to, with the old housings, they used to mount um, vertically actually. There was a little plate that you would screw down on the top piece and it would sit on the, a little ledge on the bottom and just tighten up. Um, as far as down back, I'm gonna come down this way a little bit. It's a little bit brighter down back. Over by seven and eight, so. Uh, on the way down, you can see the camera there. See the sensors. So set back here. Set over there. Uh, the one that's on 9 through 12, as you can see, they're mounted behind it. Uh, I'm not sure if that's due to the different capping size. Those caps are a little bit smaller than these are. Uh, I'm not exactly sure why that's like that, to be honest with you, but they, they both work. Uh, you can see the reflectors are different. They're both together. These reflectors are separate, but they all work. Um, these back sensors here, that's uh, for your ball speed, depending on how long that beam is blocked. And then the front set is for the machine triggering. Um, as far as it, the, the speed ones seem to come out of adjustment a little more often for some reason. Um, they're really easy to adjust actually. If you look down inside, you see that real, little red light there. And if I put, put my hand in front of it, it's a little bad spot here. There we go. You can see how it lights up when the beam's hitting that reflector. So you kind of just move them around a little bit when they come out, just till that red light comes on. Really easy. Well, they pivot a little bit and everything. So uh, we're going to come back here now. And up here on the curtain wall, that is your API box. Or the blue boxes they're called. I don't know how well the color's gonna come out, but uh, there's a little bit of a blue, blue, blue tinge to them. Oh, you can see. Let me take the light off. You can see it a little better. That yellow light's flashing really fast. I don't think it's gonna come out though. Uh, you have all these lights up here. I have a have a chart up front uh, with the what all those mean. Uh, they come on and off and. You know, if a ball passes one of the sensors or the machine's on second ball, different lights come on and off. I believe I found, I believe Ted on uh, Bolt Tech posted that. I have a copy of it up front. It was very, uh, very helpful. I mean, we don't really have a lot of problems with the scoring system, but I did have one problem with that. It was really, really helpful. And uh, I also recommend to everybody to check out that site, uh, BoltTech.com. I've been a member there since 2001. And uh, as far as, as bowling goes, it's got everything you could ever want from just the game itself to machines, pins, bowling balls, anything you can imagine. So I highly recommend that. Check that out. It's a really great site. Okay. Uh, now we've got coming into the electrical panel here. This one little cable, it ties into the ball lights. Uh, also the motor start relay, all that kind of stuff. So you can turn the machine on and off with it. Um, it's, a, we have a, it's a selectable option actually right up at the computer uh, as to whether it reads the uh, ball light data or not, which is really nice. I know the AMF systems do that by default and you can't change it if it's not on second ball. And it's waiting for a second ball score. It won't score at all. So that's kind of a nice option. Uh, gonna look in the cabinet here real fast. Let's just see if I can 
find some of the spare stuff so you guys can see it out of the box uh, right there. That's the CPU, the Super Alex Lane computer. I can show you guys up, up close and personal. tested and working. You can see some of the plugs here. They all have IP addresses. You do have to change those in the uh, computer up front if you replace one of these boxes. You just see just a bunch of pretty standard computer jacks. That's a uh, network plug there. Where it hooks into the system. The other side should be like a monitor plug. That kind of thing. Power plug, two monitor plugs. So that's that. They're pretty simple, pretty easy to change. Uh, we've had a few, a couple of these go bad. They're not, not too much of an issue though. Back in here. Get the label out. Sorry for the shaky camera. While I do this, and that it was tested and okay. Sorry about that. A little interruption, so I'll just probably end up splicing this together with the other one. Uh, here's your API box. Uh, pretty simple. Just some holes to mount it with. Serial numbers and then all your plug connections are on the bottom. Just nothing on the top. Pretty simple. So uh, that's that's pretty much it. Uh, pretty pretty similar to the other systems, really. Uh, it's simple, but it, it it works pretty well. It's pretty solid. I'm pleased with it. So hopefully that answers all all the uh, remaining questions you guys had. Let's do a shot over the machines. You can see them way up there on the curtain wall. Wires going everywhere. Uh, unfortunately, it's pretty dead here right now. There's absolutely nobody bowling, or I'd like to get a shot of them while they're running so you can see the lights coming on and off, but it doesn't look like that's happening. So, Summertime is drawing near, and uh, just up front, and vacuuming out underneath the bumpers and gonna mop the gutters and get some cleaning stuff done while I have some time uh, I thank you again as always for all your support for all the comments and clicking like and all the subscriptions uh, I've had some really nice uh, really nice comments left for me which I really appreciate uh, like I said it makes it a lot more enjoyable for me to be able to make videos of there's other people aside from myself that actually find it interesting. Oh, there you go. Let's just focus a little better. You could probably read that. EPI Blue Box. So again, sorry for the horrible camera work in this video. Uh, thanks again for all the support and everything, guys. I really appreciate it. And uh, as always, if there's anything you would like to see, feel free to contact me however you'd like, uh, channel comment, private message, video comment, I always check, so if there's anything I can do for you, just let me know, and uh, I guess that's about it, I'll go back to my cleaning up front, alright guys, that's about it for today, hey guys, I uh, guess I'm going to actually splice a third part onto this, uh, one of our junior rollers came into practice, so I can show you the, uh, the API box, the device. Uh, you can see that lower red light there. That's, uh, I believe that's the second ball light. You can see the lights flash as it passes the sensors. That light that just lit up, that's cycle cycle light. Saying that it's 
triggering the machine. The light went off as the second ball light indicator for the odd one. And they're separate on both sides. Like I said, I have a, I do have a, <clears throat> a picture up front with uh, what all the lights are and everything. But I'm going to trim through another ball here. sensor light, now there's a triggering light right there. And you'll see the light will come on for the second ball. Right there. That's pretty even lane. It's really good for uh, for troubleshooting and diagnostics and stuff like that. Lights again, and the triggering lights like the cycle following the light right there. Back to the first ball. That's about it, guys. Just wanted to sh show you that since I had an opportunity. I'll probably just splice all three parts of the video together. Alright, guys. See you soon. Bye bye.